I started my life, my academic life, actually as a sort of biochemist and biophysicist. And uh, then my son was diagnosed with autism, and I decided to change the direction of my research. And uh, that has really motivated me for, for many years. You know, I've spent a lot of time working on disease and I, because I care about it. But I have to say, at some point, you have to actually do something about it as opposed to just try to understand it and use it uh, as a way to understand just pure biology. And if you want to develop new medicines, this is where you want to be. And I think that the opportunity to actually make uh, people's lives better is, is pretty profound. I think this is a, a very special time for neuroscience. Now we have uh, a lot of genetic clues about the underlying basis of neurodevelopmental and neuropsychiatric disease. And in addition to this, we have developed a couple of new technologies that I think are really revolutionary. The first is that now we have this capacity to actually make a biopsy. So we can start with uh, skin cells or blood cells, convert them into stem cells, take these cells and convert them into neurons. In fact, we can sometimes convert them into something that resembles a little brain. And we can now study the disease in human cells. I could make your neurons and I could understand how your brain works. And that is incredibly powerful. That's one technology. Now the second technology is the set of technologies that allow us to actually understand and manipulate specific circuits. Historically, in neuroscience, we treated the brain as a big mush of signaling molecules. We didn't care where anything was lo localized, but, but, but that's not the way the brain works. And, and the brain is like real estate. You know, location matters. And so it matters where the neurons are. It matters where the molecules are. And so we are now getting some insights into the regions of the brain that are important for specific behaviors. And I think we can tackle that. 